A couple of months ago, we highlighted a unique opportunity to drought-proof over 1,200 families in one of the worst-hit famine areas of Africa by providing a long-term, self-sustaining farming solution, starting with solar-powered wells to tap into a source of a precious commodity known as water. <laughs> The Bible speaks of God providing streams in the desert, and in a very literal way, that's what he is doing through you for the people of northern Kenya in a region known as Turkana. For an update on how your dollars are at work there, we're joined on the line by one of our Crossroads Relief and Development team members, Chester Van Houston, who is in the Turkana region right now. Chester, thanks for phoning in. Tell us what's going on there. Well, hi, everybody, and uh, it's really a great privilege to be able to share with you this morning uh, and today about what, what is going on, and, and actually a lot is going on. Um, we have been working with the, the 1,275 families and particular, uh, particularly the Project Steering Committee, which is a group of, of members of, the, of the, the four farms that um, help to represent what's going on and help us plan the, the next steps forward. And so um, we had a a fantastic meeting with them the other day and people were full of questions and of course very very eager just to say like why haven't the wells been drilled and and uh, you know how come it's taking so long and, and that's always the challenge that we face uh, every time we show up and show our white faces here but uh, I assured them that the dollars that have been donated by by our supporters in Canada and, and abroad uh, are really um, starting to take shape, and we are actually planning to drill the first four wells within the next couple of months. And we have our EMI engineer, Patrick Ayler, that has been working as a, as a volunteer to try to organize that and uh, contract with the wrestling company. So pretty excited about that, and uh, when the people heard that that was going to be happening in the, in the very near future, they also were quite excited. Um, this week, we invited a... Um, a couple of professionals from Kenya. Actually, one is a Dutch lady who um, runs a, a conservation environmental engineer, uh, engineering group. Uh, and we're introducing a particular plant called Vetiver, and uh, it will help us harvest the rainwater so that we can recharge the groundwater below because we'll be pumping a lot of water out of the ground, and we want to make sure that any little bit of rain that falls, is, instead of it running away, we want to capture it and, and put it back into the ground again. So. We're working with them this week, and they're doing some assessment for us. Um, so, and, and, you know, the, the beautiful thing is we do have one well drilled already. Actually, your dollars have really helped us to get started uh, at the Team Project Center, um, Team standing for Turkana Eden Agricultural Ministry. Um, so that is really exciting. We, we've seen the children running around and just, uh, you know, pumping water, mothers coming and uh, drink, and the water is excellent. We just got the lab report on the water, and it's high quality. It's not salty. Um, it's, it's good, clean, pure, fresh water. Wow. We're, we're very, very excited about that, um, that happening as well. Yeah, Chester, I, I can imagine uh, the amount of uh, administration and coordination it would take for 1,275 families uh, to be organized and to be trained and to be uh, you know, getting ready for this, uh, this opportunity to have self-sustaining uh, farmland given to them like this. Uh, but I understand over Christmas time there was something special that happened. Well, yeah, there, there was a, a gift that was given, actually, and it was, it was a gift of cash. And believe it or not, it was, it was about $10 a family. And, you know, you multiply that by 1275 that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of dollars. But the people were jubilant. They were actually jubilant, so jubilant. And um, nothing like this has ever happened before. You know, just somebody coming randomly. And, of course, we're, we're not just somebody. We're their friends, their partners. We've been, you know, working together with them. But they were able to buy enough food to really uh, sustain themselves right into January. And, of course, there, there has been a drought here in Turkana again. And um, so people are, are needy. I mean, most of that money has been spent in food now, and it's been consumed. And we're just itching as well to see a longer-term solution. But that definitely was something we could do in, in the, you know, in the interim. As a yeah. Gap. Now, so, Chester, you, uh, you are there you know, getting things ready. But I know um, coming soon there are going to be some teams coming over there from here. Uh, what's happening with that? That's that's right. We have, a, we have a Canadian team, actually, some from Ontario and some from British Columbia. And uh, a few of them are, are people who have been here already working on the uh, EMI uh, survey team. And they're coming to, to help set up the team project center. 
and um, just to do some set up the demonstration gardens and actually set up a one acre tree and uh, uh, vegetable and seedling nursery. Uh, we've we've had a, a large amount of ginseng cloth donated and all the hardware, so they're going to be helping with that. So we're, we're quite excited about the, this team coming. We have probably about 13, 14 members, and um, yeah, so that's happening in the very near near future. And then in May, we have a, a another team coming. It's uh, Engineering Ministries International Survey Team to help us demarcate the gardens and to actually systematically chart them out so that we can put the water pipelines in and um, so that we can make sure that the maximum amount of water reaches every garden at the right. right speed. All right. Well, it is happening. It's exciting to see that. And thank you, uh, Chester, for your tireless work over there representing us here and those who've donated to the project. And God bless you there. We'll be praying for you and the teams when they head over. I know it's going to make a huge difference in so many lives. And so God bless you, Chester. Well, thank you very much. It's a great pleasure. God bless. Okay. Bye-bye for now. All right, and let me just say thank you to those of you who have supported this work uh, and all areas of the Crossroads family of ministries. You are changing lives. God bless you for that.